Covert drone strikes by the United States in Pakistan's northwest tribal region began in 2004. They have angered many people living there who reject U.S. claims that most of those killed in the attacks are terrorists. Habib Noor Oraksai, who lives in the tribal region, expresses the belief of many residents. In all these drone strikes, they rarely hit the target. In Pakistan cities, the attacks have triggered large anti-American demonstrations, and the country's political parties and the government have frequently denounced the U.S. policy. In October, Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif met with President Obama and urged an end to the strikes. I also brought up the issue of drones in our meeting, emphasizing the need for an end to such strikes. The attacks have many negative consequences, says Pakistani Foreign Office spokeswoman Tasneem Aslam. It has been consistently maintained that drone strikes are counterproductive, entail loss of innocent civilian lives and have human rights and humanitarian implications. Such strikes are also dangerous precedents in the interstate relations. These drone strikes have a negative impact on the government's efforts to bring peace and stability in Pakistan and in the region. Many in Pakistan cite a fundamental concern. Political scholar Muhammad Atik points to two issues. It's a fundamental concern. I mean, it has shaken uh, the country's sovereignty and the sovereign values. On the other hand, it's a violation of human rights, viola territorial violation. So I think it should be stopped. So far in 2014, it appears the drone strikes in Pakistan have been suspended, and a recent UN report found the attacks dropped significantly last year. Special Rapporteur Ben Emerson. The total number of reported strikes during 2013 was down to 27 from a peak of 128 in 2010. For the first time in nine years, there were no reports of civilian casualties in Pakistan in 2013. The U.S. does not provide casualty figures, but the New America Foundation, a public policy group, estimates drone strikes have killed between 2,000 to 3,400 people in Pakistan. It says up to 300 are considered to be civilians, most of the other militants. U.S. drone operators who train at a U.S. military base say they are often reminded that their targets are people. They see their personal habits and life from the drone cameras, even as the operators say they carefully select only militants to target. But those on the ground, such as Habib Nur Urgzai, see it differently. If they search here, they can see what we are doing. Either we are eating food, washing clothes, or where we are going. But they cannot know our intentions. I will say their targets in search were off target. Despite the temporary halt in Pakistan, Pentagon and White House officials do not say they will put a permanent end to drone strikes in Pakistan and other areas where the U.S. believes militants are operating. This is Aisha Tanzim for Mohammad Ishtiaq, Voice of America.